All of the go-getters of the group are currently on their knees, unable to walk. <laughs> and sick. Yep, Revy and Atlas <laughs> left us to die, and so Isaac, Elise, and Val and their Digimon are dying. We've got the Goku disease or whatever the fuck it was. Well, you don't need heart medicine. I mean, maybe you do, but I don't, I don't. <laughs> ah, that's funny. But, um... Yeah. So! Jokes on all of us. All he had was congestive heart failure from all the fucking food he's ate his whole life, but you know. Hold on. Um... So, Isaac, Elise, and Valentine, you currently are unable to walk, but you three are the only ones in a group right now. How's it How's it going for you guys? I ain't bleh. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, Isaac? Yeah, I'm not really sure where to start. You're supposed to be dying, so... Well, you're dying, but you're not... You kind of have a little bit of fever fog going, and you can't really get up and walk, but, you know, you're not... passed out on the ground. True, true. So, robot, man. You said you guys were from the same world as the Tiger Mom. What's protecting you from the fog? Why is it not attacking you? The the fog? <laughs> yes, the fog that's surrounding the world and you now killing everything that walks into it and reached out of itself especially to kill the Titamon. Mm, if I had to guess that fog is probably the uh the barrier between worlds breaking down. I don't think that that fog itself is inherently evil. I see. So then, what would have reached out for that Titamon? Is there something on the other side looking for you guys? I have no idea what that is. I've never seen anything like that before. I see. Do you think you or your sister could go get the others? We we really need to move this along. <laughs> well, your one friend, uh Atlas, you are you are there, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm He's in nearby King observing. Kakuman. Uh King Kakuman would open up his lid and reveal that Atlas was hiding inside of him. Curled up, like a small ball, just trying to hide. <laughs> and I believe the other one is watching from over there. And he'd point to the flying, fluffy dragon in the distance. <laughs> so, Revy, now that the Danger has seemingly passed. Do you return to the group? Um. No, I'll keep a distance. Ah, they are sick. <laughs> yep. Dinamon, I know the church is in disrepair, but do you have anything <laughs> that could check us out or keep us sustained? Like, I don't feel too good, Mr. Stark. Well, like I said, I, I can look you guys over, but I don't have a bunch of uh, practice dealing with uh, illnesses of the organic variety. You guys had an entire community here and zero doctors? Uh, if you remember, most of those worked for the church. <clears throat> Madman Jamon. You'll help me kill him one day, right? <laughs> Personal grudges aren't my problem. 
No, but I can be your problem very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to get through this first. <laughs> I'll remember I mean... that, nuts and bolts. I'll remember <laughs> that. Although, if you are going to pass away, could you leave your Digivice with me? I'll fucking crush it before <laughs> I die. <laughs> um. So, Elise, how are you holding up since you're not holding up very well? Just trying to be quiet and focusing on not passing out. <laughs> Revy, goddammit, I swear if you let us die out here, <laughs> I know you can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you um, really gonna let someone else kill us before you? <laughs> oh no. Um. Okay. <laughs> the the giant robot would start poking inside of it. Hey, little man, I think your friends are about to die. Atlas. Try to still act as small as possible, because I don't, I don't know what whose hand it is that's just poking me. So I'm just trying to avoid it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> You two are actually going to let everyone die, aren't you? <laughs> Fine, I'll fight back down. Just, just tell me how to re-roll my character. Like, what are my terms? <laughs> okay, so Revy flies back down. Uh, you guys are currently deciding how to get to the hive with three of you basically incapacitated. <laughs> Oh, um, well, look, <laughs> we decided to come back. What's wrong with you guys? I think we got the ancient plague from the giant green thing. Yeah. So, I wonder if, like, the siblings can bring us to the hive. The siblings? Um... <clears throat> Do you ask them? I will. Well, we do have other problems, but... Uh, you guys seem like you might be helpful when you're not dying, so I guess. At the very least, we can carry some of you. And the robot do, would do, look... Do we have some sort of connection that you'd really help me? What was that, Lunamon? Do, do we have some sort of connection that would really help us? Uh, King Kakuman would stare down at you. You do bear resemblance to some people we had connections with, but I don't think you're them. However, allies are always more useful than, well, dead people, so consider this on the house. Um, and then the giant robot would once again look inside his stomach. Little man, I cannot carry those who cannot walk if you do not move. 
I'm gonna drag him off of it. <laughs> and say, and say, hold on where I'm saying, saying. <laughs> Atlas, you're holding on to Ginkakuman's stomach? Yep. <laughs> can I drag him? Is it the string thing? Um, you can drag him, and then Ginkakuman will start to help you. <laughs> Little man, it's not very nice to hold on to people's innards. <laughs> And you have... that Atlas will just let go and push off at the same time. Wow, you, you had to stick him one last time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, but King Kakuman would turn to everybody else. My, my stomach can hold one person, whomever would like inside. Should probably be one of the dying ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, I see, I see the uh, trickster over there has uh, volunteered. <laughs> and he'll wander over to Valentine, scooping him up and letting him sit inside. Now, you two need to hold on tight. Well, as tight as you can. As uh, King Kakuman would lift Elise up and King Kakuman would uh, hold on to Isaac and Kronamon. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. <laughs> We're gonna die. <laughs> Thank you, King Kakuman, for carrying me. It's the least I can do. He'll all help us with that, uh, that God Slayer when the time comes, I'm sure. <clears throat> that said, are any of those standing good at directions? Because we have no idea where we are. See the big hole in the mountain? It's on the other side. Is is no is none of you good with maps? Maps? We'll we'll, we'll just like <laughs> scan around, see if anyone's pointing at him, or he's <laughs> just gonna like not do anything because he doesn't. <laughs> and then God, arrows. I swear to God if I die. <laughs> arrows will walk up behind Atlas and slam him on the back. Ah, this one right here is pretty good with maps. <laughs> Immediately run around, hide behind arrows. Will Mushman drag you out? <laughs> Currently Mushman is still is with like, it's on arrows, sir. He's like, yeah, he knows he knows maps more than maps do. But he's not going to drag him out. Eros will be like, all right, I guess I'm leading the leader then. Atlas, that uh, point from back there or something. Atlas will just point towards... The south, I would presume. Gotcha. So, um, you guys will eventually start your trip from the temple. Uh, Sister Mon Noir is going to actually stay behind because there are a lot of children that need protecting. And though they have Leomon and Datamon there, uh, that, that didn't necessarily help last time, so. Uh, you guys will eventually start your trip through the mountains. Uh, for some of you, this will actually be a pretty pleasant trip, except for the ones that are dying, because not only have the mountains turned pink, the f 
the uh, vegetation within them are now abundant with rivers flowing, but you see Bioman flying through the air, playing with each other. You see Gaburiman playing in the uh, rivers, having a good time. You even see a Saber Dramon coming down from the sky at high speeds towards the Bioman before it passes by them and lifts up its wings and lets them play on top of it. And there are Piximon and other Digimon of plenty just having fun in the mountains. Um But eventually with Atlas's keen guidance from behind Eros as Eros leads, um, you eventually make your way out of the mountains and back into the forest that you were once in when you purified the original ley line. Any commentary so far? <laughs> Well, I guess if I can look around to see if there's anything odd. Um. Actually, blah, blah, blah. I see. Um. Yeah, you can give me a roll for that. Rolls. Yeah, sure. Um. What was that? Oh, yes, slash. Yeah, so... One thing you'd end up noticing, aside from, like, how beautiful this forest is, is that further ahead on the path that you guys are all walking... Um, I wonder why that's not popping up, but further ahead on the path you guys are all walking, um, interesting. You end up seeing, well, you've seen Tinkermon before, and you see what looks like Tinkermon, but there's a big difference. They look much larger than Tinkerman. There's two of them that seem to be, I don't know, playing or something along the way. Well, okay, since I I could guess that Isaac's the one who's nearest to me, so <laughs> I'll probably try to get his attention and then be like, hey, can you see what I'm seeing? Or I might be sick today <laughs> because like Tinkerman seems to be a little more bigger than usual. Yeah, I couldn't begin to tell you. He probably just ditch evolved. <laughs> um. Yep. Well, you would also be on King Kakuman's back, but yes, uh, you'd probably be close to Isaac still. Um. But is that the only commentary that you make about the uh, two Tinkerman playing up ahead? Well, I probably like asking Kako what if he sees or like feels that it's a weird thing that we should try to avoid or try to encounter, maybe. Uh, King Kakuman would look ahead. Well, I certainly see them, but. I honestly can't pick up anything from them at all. I don't... I have no idea if they're someone we should. And as she's talking, um, and Eros and Atlas are still slightly in the lead, uh, you would notice that these two very large Tinkerman-looking creatures and they're still quite a ways away probably like a football field away mind you but you'd see their heads slightly turn towards 
where the group is walking from. And within a moment, they would be upon all of you. In fact, at least they'd probably be about two inches away from your face. Oh, they're right there already. And they'd start talking back and forth to each other. Oh my, oh my, look at this, look at this, it's a humanry. I know, Scree. Isn't it wonderful? What about these others? Well, there's that human up front, but he's going to be going away soon. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Ree? It is indeed, Scree. What brings you to the forest, human? There are no beats to hide. The hive? Do you know of the hive, Scree? Or actually, backtrack a little. You said you're on your way to the hive. Give uh, me a, you... give me a willpower roll, Elise. Not bad. That said, as you go to tell them that you're on your way to the hive, the information becomes cloudy inside your head, and you begin to forget why you're in the forest, or on King Kakuman's back for that matter. I'll probably like look around in confusion and be like, what am I doing here? What's happening? Why is my body so heavy? <laughs> oh, don't worry, little human. We can tell you that. Isn't that right, Scree? Oh, it is indeed, Ree. You were on your way to the hive. You see, you and your friends, you've fallen ill. Isn't that right, Ree? It is indeed, Scree. You guys are going to look for a cure. I don't know how well it will go, though. I just now, want to reach out and strangle them. <laughs> but I love them, but also want to strangle them, but also too sick to strangle them. You're also inside Ginkakuman's stomach. <laughs> um, but is anyone else going to interact with these two as they are badgering Elise? You two seem to know a lot more about us than we do. Know about you? Oh, we don't know anything, isn't that right, Scree? No, we don't know anything, Ree. I mean, we do know what they are, don't we, Scree? Well, surely, but they know what they are as well, Ree. Well, except for this one, she doesn't seem to know who she is. Isn't that right, Scree, looking down at Elise? Oh, she seems to have forgotten who she was long ago, Re. But I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Little, little, what's your name? The twins will ask Elise. Elise? Well, I look at them and now because I wonder if I like, should answer them, given like the confusion in my head right now. <laughs> can I roll the cipher of intent on this one? <laughs> oh, well, you can try. Hmm. Well, there's something that you can tell for sure. Whatever these two creatures are doing, 
they don't have good intentions for you, but they might not also have bad intentions. They seem very chaotic. <laughs> well, don't you know, little lady? Names are powerful. Isn't that right, Scree? Powerful well, indeed, Re. Nothing. The last time someone asked our names. <laughs> Lunamon pulls down on Elisa's shirt slightly and just, like, tries to put a finger to her lips. Oh no, oh no. Are they mistaking us for the little ones? I think they are indeed, Scree. We wouldn't do anything as barbaric as steal something like that. I'll tell you what, little lady. You give us your name, and we'll make all of your friends better. The trick. <laughs> At least I can barely hear you. I can hear you too. Oh, you can hear me? Okay. I, I can't really hear you that well. I will... I will Hello, turn up Elise. Oh, oh, that works. I was going to turn up your volume, but yeah, that works. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I look at like Val and then Isaac and then ask them, what do you guys think? When? Uh, clearly their names are not Scree and whatever, because if names are powerful, they're not giving them away. Um, but I do not think that it is safe to give the names. <laughs> That's kind of what got us in the whole mess of losing our names in the first place. And Isaac, what's your opinion? These fuckers remind me too much of Piedmon. I don't want nothing to do with them. If you want a name, go talk to Magna and Jamon. And, uh, Aster would look through your phone. Well, I think, and then the two... Uh, creatures would begin to pipe up. Now, now, no one's talking to the dead. But if you don't trust us, that's fine. Although, uh, really... Valentine's going to just be like, you know, he's going to have, you know, he's not going to be facing them, but he's got mm -hmm. a little smirk on his face. He's going to be like, besides, they're probably just lying. I doubt any of them have the capability to cure us. <laughs> oh, we don't lie. We make deals. Isn't that right, Scree? Deals and deedry. But what? we're more interested in making deals with this human. Isn't that right, Scree? That's right and deedry. But the thing is, is you're offering a deal of something we don't know you can actually do. So... Maybe you could heal one of us. If that works, then we could talk a deal. Hmm. Should we heal one of them, Re? I mean, it wouldn't hurt, Scree. There'd still be five more that are very sick. Oh, well, that's true indeed, Scree. Wait, I, I have a better idea, Re. Were you going to say something, Isaac? Never mind, I just realized when you said five, you were counting the Digimon. I was be like, what the fuck do you mean five? <laughs> I have a better idea, Re. To prove that we can cure them, Scree, why don't we just transfer the illness? Oh, a good idea indeed, Re. We can just make another of them sick. But that doesn't actually prove that you can cure it. That just proves that you can move it. You may have your doubts. However, what would we get by curing your illness? 
if you can cure their illnesses, then I personally wouldn't mind giving my name. But I'm not just going to give you the name without any proof. All we need to do is cure their illnesses to take your name? Is that a contract? No. Not yet. <laughs> Words are law, my friend. However, let's see, let's see, let's see. They look over the six of you. Hmm. Which of you would like to be cured? I don't want to be. Fuck. <laughs> I would point towards Elise. Because we know she's sickly. And the two... The two... <laughs> well, this just won't do at all, Re. You know, I'm starting to get bored, Scree. But in a way, they're kind of interesting, aren't they, Re? Interesting indeed, Scree. Do you think we could invite them to the village? Oh no, the queen would never allow them in the village. Not at their current level. But well, maybe if they get stronger, then. What kind of Digimon are you? Digimon? Oh, you think we're of this world? Mm. <laughs> no, no. We've come from... somewhere else, you could say. Don't worry. We'll see you again. Isn't that right, Scree? Oh, that's right indeed, Re. We'll see them again. And the two fairies will, uh, disappear. Looks like you guys are staying sick. I Good should have really. given them your name. <laughs> <laughs> I would have killed them. To be fair, we had no guarantee that they actually could cure us. And I'm not going to just give my name away all willy-nilly. But it's not smart. <laughs> are we currently all like are we currently all stationary right now? Yes. Probably. Okay. I don't know. Atlas, are you stationary? That's not up for me to decide. <laughs> like, since everyone was talking with the fairies and Elise, I just wanna know if like did those three stop? to talk with the fairies while the rest of the group moved on, or did we all just stay together? I, I would... don't know, did you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a good question, Atlas. Did you just keep walking while everyone else was, like, talking to the fairies? <laughs> I mean, Eros was gonna keep Atlas in check. That is for certain. Okay, that's fair. Eros would probably I... stick around with the group. <laughs> yes. But Atlas... Seen, seen everyone contemplating using the fairy's deal of getting cured. Atlas will walk, will slowly hide in like the forest area, but not too far away. Mm -hmm. And he will pull out the book. Oh, he'll pull out the book. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what will he do with the book? Eat it for he'll, substance. He'll hold it, contemplate on if this is going to be a good action or if it's just going to be, if it's a if it's a suicide action he's going to take. But he's just going to sit there looking at the book, and then just going back through his head through everything he he's seen and encountered with the group. And then he'll take a big breath, and then he'll open it, and then he'll write in the book, how can we cure the disease? How can... Yes. He, he's going to write in the book how to cure the sick. 
Trio. That will end up... I'll put the cost later, but... Um... The cost is minute for this answer as the book responds that there are very few in this world who can cure the disease. There is the Fae, the Hive, and you could try to make a cure from those possessing the X. However, that may also kill your Digimon. The axe or the X? The X. So, after seeing that answer, he will pull out the map, and then, with his knowledge, he knows that we're going towards the hive, and the phase on the other side, the other direction. There's no guarantee that that. Oh, actually, uh, you you might have gotten it listed that that's where the Fae lives. However, the name probably wouldn't be there. Well, no, like, because Edamon did say, like, where they were. Yes, he just didn't mention them by name. Yeah, it was like, he's pretty much just guessing, like, Fae's fairies. Fairies mm -hmm. are pretty much sprites of the woods. And, like, if we're going towards the hive and there's another spot on the other side, then that side would probably be the Fae. Mm -hmm. And then he's just going to sit there and contemplate on how to either get the cure or harder to mix it. We rip it from Revy's Cold Dead Heart, but. <laughs> well, I guess technically it's Dormon's heart, but I will kill all of you <laughs> while you're sick. <laughs> it's like, hold on, Dormon, you only have to bleed out a little bit. Everyone dying. <laughs> Start with your healer. <laughs> However, the book did mention that that last option comes with a risk. <laughs> Granted, all of these options do come with a risk, so. Yes, but it's like I could probably find a way to make the cure and if we can get it at the hive or the fey, then the cure would just be like as a backup in case it happens again. If not then well, we just have to hope and see it it works. <laughs> right. And while you're contemplating, Eros will come over. Atlas, what what are you doing over here? Immediately hide the book, and I just look up at him and I'm like, just thinking. Well, with those two uh, those two creatures gone, I think we should probably keep going, right? I think so. All right. And uh, he'd start leading the way again. And eventually the beautiful forest that you're walking in would slowly start to turn into a, a far more darker, more coniferous forest, forest filled with uh, things like evergreens and the like. And pine needles burn really brightly. We could burn <laughs> this bitch down. <laughs> and the pine cones explode. But, uh. All in a glaze of glory. Yeah, they cover us in their seed. It would... <laughs> <laughs> so when forest fires happen, pine cones open up their ridges and let out the seeds for the forest to regrow. But it's a fairly violent explosion, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's still a weird statement, but... Um... <laughs> and as you go through the uh, forest, it 
becomes darker, damper. Uh, you all start feeling as if you're being watched. And is anyone actually, like, actively looking around? Me. I'll probably look at the email. Best as I can see from King Kakamon's shoulders. <laughs> Atlas is also going to be looking around, mostly because everything is currently beaming at him as a threat. Um... Actually, nothing actively seems like a threat to you, Atlas. Well, not to you personally, but in terms of your powers, if you're using them. Um, but as you guys look around, uh, not only do you notice that the pathway is getting uh, smaller and smaller as the forest kind of closes in around you guys, but you also notice spider webs and tendrils about and you notice this very goopy substance on the path ahead of you you hear rustling in the bushes around you um do you all continue to proceed? Oh, what was that, Elise? Yes? Um, is it possible to decipher the intent of those around us, even if we can't directly see them? <sighs> um... Assuming that they actually are around you, then I think the most you can possibly pick up on is curiosity um i suppose you could give me a roll and if magic happens i i might give you something else <laughs> um yeah just curiosity uh at least seemingly but with that said, do you, uh, all continue on the way? So, Atlas, eventually you end up stepping in the sticky goop, right? Yep. <laughs> Alright, so give me a, uh, feats of strength check. Oh, that's not bad. Um, yeah, you're able to get through the goop. However, uh, as you do, it is kind of a struggle to pick your feet up. But you do slowly make your way through the uh, goopy mess. <laughs> this is much better than the other group. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, Excuse me. Can you say that again? <laughs> You know what happened when the goop happened, but, uh... Too much happened. Oh, so no, step, bro. I'm stuck in the goop. <laughs> yeah. We're not was... talking about it anymore. <laughs> so, uh, Revy, do you walk through the goop? Uh, no. <laughs> no? No, I'll stop there, and, uh... I'll jump on Dor uh, Dorogamon's back and fly up if I can. Uh, there's not a lot of room, but you probably could slightly fly over the goop to the other side. Uh, <laughs> Atlas is lucky he rolled as well as he did. I was expecting someone to push him in the goop so they could walk on him. <laughs> Hashtag always bully Atlas. Hashtag always bully Atlas. But as you guys for my horrible torment. 
Wait, are you or are you saying you would have? That would have happened. I would have rolled for my phobia, yeah. Um. So as you guys continue, the forest shrinks more and more, and just as it almost seems impossible to uh, proceed, you end up coming out of a thicket, and standing before you is a massive bug hive. Uh, not quite the size of a mountain, but you can't tell how far back it goes. And it's extremely wide and tall. Definitely the size of a, uh, a large building, at the very least. And... At the entrance of this extremely large hive where you see bugs coming and going, you see a tiny worm-like creature with a little blue butterfly on its head. Ah, welcome. We've been waiting for you here at the hive. Oh, pardon me, is, is your group not able to speak? <laughs> These oh. people need help, <laughs> so I can cure them, please. Ah, uh, yes, I, <laughs> we are well aware of why you came, we, we just thought there, it, it's fine. It's fine. Would you all like to follow me to the queen to see if she is willing to heal you? Well, Takuman, I think you should go back to the temple now. These people know a lot, and they might not like people from another world. Oh, another world, you say? <laughs> No, no, please. You two, feel free to come with the rest of them. Dying in the stomach. Blech. <laughs> right, let's go, guys. No, no more commentary, Isaac? <laughs> Alright. Um... I mean, was she referring to us or the twins? Because I told King Kakuman to leave, not to take us with him. Uh, and then Wormon told those from the other world to feel free to come along. Well, um, right. So yeah. why are you looking to me for commentary? You're the one that DMs for them. <laughs> no, I, I was just seeing if... Uh, anyway. <laughs> the Worm... The Wormon would uh, proceed to walk up to a door and slither inside of it. The door is a bit goopy, but you can get through. And Atlas, are you taking the lead? He, he will, mostly due to the fact that he knows from the book that the hive can heal the disease, so he'll go in first. Gotcha. Um, so, immediately as you guys enter the hive, you see that it's not necessarily big enough to fly around in unless you have a very certain body type, as there are many holes to duck and dive through. But the Wormon would just keep slinking along on the ground, leading you guys forward. It's always nice to have visitors. And as it takes you through a hallway before entering a, uh, a room, you'd see two moth-like creatures almost stationed at the top of the hallway corners with Gatling guns for 
butts. And they're just kind of pointing their Gatling gun butts left to the right. They're so cute. I must know, how has your journey been so far? I know you normally don't make it this far. <coughs> the Wormon would turn their head for a moment. I see. <laughs> you are all quite sick indeed. But that's okay. I'm sure the queen will heal all of you. Um. And what of you, backpack boy? Or should I call you Atlas? I would like to talk with the queen, if possible. And as the Wormmon slinks along, you enter a room where there's several bug Digimon, probably, gathered around another that has very large claws for arms. And the Digimon with the large claws for arms would actually stab itself in the abdomen and slice all the way up before pulling its chest apart. And allowing the other Digimon to feast on its insides. Oh, that looks like such a delicious meal. I'll have to have some later. You said you'd like to talk to the Queen, Atlas? Yes. And as we're also moving along, which one just kind of like, like, is the body like on the ground? Like, right beside us, or is it, like, higher up? Um, it's on the ground beside you guys. However, it's... I mean, it's not far off, but it's not, like, right next to you. Probably, like, I don't know, 8 to 10 feet away. Okay, right. so Mushmon's just gonna, like... He sees it, and he just he just quickly runs there, grabs, like, a handful, and runs back. And just, like, <laughs> nibbles on it little slowly. And the Wormmon is going to slowly slink up the Mushmon's body. Oh, don't mind if I do. Before suckling on Mushmon's fingers if he's not stopped. He's gonna split it in half and give some give it to Warmer. It's like, hey, you're working hard too. You need you need to eat. Ah, thank you, my mushroom friend. And after eating, the uh, Wormman would continue, and you'd enter another room where you see several very large insectoid Digimon. Seemingly sparring with each other. Uh, it seems training is going well today. So, how has your journey been, my bookish friend? It's... It's been something. <laughs> well, better than nothing, as they say. And what of you, slightly underdressed lady with the very large coat? This will spin around because <laughs> he knows who he's talking about. He's, <laughs> he's wondering why she's, she followed him. I mean, everybody would be following the worm man, supposedly, unless Revy just chose to, like, Stay outside of the hive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll stay. Just in, I'll help. I'll stay with everyone just in case. <laughs> um. But yes, the Wormon asks how your journey has been, Revy. It's been good. Can I pet you? 
Yeah, you may indeed. Alright. I'll pet him. He purrs like a cat. <laughs> and as you pet him, you see some other worm on, on the sides of the hallways feeling very happy for some reason. Oh. And oh. <laughs> as they... As uh, the Wormon continues on, uh, you end up seeing a very muscular insectoid Digimon punching holes in a wall, and as it does, the holes start getting filled with eggs. So, I must know, what questions do you have for the queen? And what is the X? The X. Oh, I see. The X, as you put it, is simply a disease that spreads to certain digital life forms and worlds. I'm sure that the creatures here are not as well suited for it as other worlds. That's likely why yours have fallen ill. Wait, so... This is out of character, but did that thing just say we have the X and that's why we're dying? Hmm, he didn't exactly say that. Uh, however, Atlas's book did allude to you guys having the X. I thought it said we had to get the X to not die, but the X might kill us anyway. Mm-hmm. Well, just, just full disclosure out of character without spoiling anything. The X antibody is something that Digimon develop in response to having the X virus, which kills 50% of Digimon. I didn't realize that it was called the X virus. I thought it was just seeing Drizzle being a prick. Um, and soon the Wormon would come to a an opening in the hallway of sorts with a blue tint to it, and it would continue on, but. As you watch it continue on, it would almost look like it's floating after entering this portion of the hive. No need to dawdle, come along. Do, 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 do. And uh, going to follow. Now, as you approach the edge of this uh, hallway where it looks like the Wormon is floating, you do see that there's no footing of, in front of you. I stop, but I'll like I'll do like a slight tap up in front of me. Just to see maybe it's like an invisible floor. If not, then I'm just going to stand guard at the edge. <laughs> when you say tap, you mean like put your foot out? You know, you put your toe in, pull to make sure the temperature is, but like he's doing that to make sure there is a floor. Um, well, when you put your toe in... It almost seems like your foot enters a pool of water. However, when it's pulled back, it's not wet, and there is definitely no floor there. He's, he's going to just stand there and try to figure out a way to get across. <laughs> Alright, so, 
But the rest of you, um, in this case, mostly King Kakuman and King Kakuman, but also Revy, end up getting backed up by Atlas as he doesn't want to continue moving forward. And King Kakuman would be like, what's wrong, little man? There's, there's a hole. Yes, but I'm sure it's fine. And she'd grab onto Atlas's jacket and toss him in, or at least try to. going to try and hold on, but like, he's going to try and not get taken by King Kakuma, but kind of hard to hold on against that in particular, strength-wise, so. <laughs> True enough. He's going to get, like, Verona. Um, and oh, oh not bad. Uh, at least you can mark a uh, check off your torments. But, um... Yeah, so as uh, Arrow sees what's going on, he will kind of, like, run and jump into the room beforehand to try to make sure it's safe before Atlas gets tossed in there. And uh, you both go in at roughly the same time, though. And as you enter, it almost seems like you're swimming in water but you can still breathe. This is freaking out. <laughs> oh, that's that's fair. <laughs> um, and King Kakuman and King Kakuman would uh, enter not far behind uh... Elise, Isaac, uh, Valentine, you're basically in a submarine. <laughs> we awesome. all live in a yellow submarine. <laughs> yes, but it's not yellow. It's silver. <laughs> I'll fill it with yellow. Isaac might be colorblind. Leave him alone. <laughs> I mean, um, I am delirious. <laughs> so, as you guys enter this water-like substance that allows you to float the worm on, he, he has stopped to, like, turn to you guys, but he's much higher up and kind of staring down at you from a distance. Um... And coming back, at this point, I think that those three could probably proceed on their own if they wanted. And would you guys separate from I... your, uh, from your flesh max? And robot max? I would groan and ready himself. <laughs> I think it's only one in a flip sure. flesh mac. <laughs> only one, yes. Um but you guys it's still slightly delirious, but in this pool like substance you can actually move in the direction you want to. Um and is anyone looking around? I will. So in this this room uh, as you look around, it's very odd. You see two very large walls, one where you came from and one farther ahead that seems to stretch on forever. And you see essentially just one doorway for each. But if you look outwards, it almost seems like you see stars. Is it like a glass building or something? 
Hmm. No, it's more like... It's more like you see two walls on either side, but outside of that, it almost feels like any direction you look at, you see the night sky and stars. But it might be more akin to seeming like you're in space. And the Wormon would uh, come back down to you guys. That's sad, but if you're ready, let us continue on. After all, you are all fairly sick, I believe. And um, the Wormon would make its way up to the other door. Oh. But you might want to have your friends hold on to you for this one. Once we leave here, the gravity's gonna get just a little bit stronger. And, uh... Is anyone gonna take care of Atlas? I rolled for my Thalassophobia torment, and I rolled an 8. Okay, so you're not That's actually pretty, well, pretty solid. Yeah, you're not actually like having a mental breakdown over it. No, like I got thrown into water and I was freaking out. Yeah, Eros was able to. Eros pretty much just grabbed me and lifted me up and got to the other side. And as you and Eros uh, enter the other side, Atlas, give me a feats of strength roll. Not bad. Um, as you enter the room, though, uh, you end up are forced to drop to your knees as arrows just kind of crumbles beneath the weight of the gravity. But you are eventually able to uh, recompose yourself and stand up. Lift Eros up as well. It takes some some finagling, but yes, you are able to hold him up. Um. Now, Elise, Valentine, and Isaac, you will be held up by King Kakuman and King Kakuman. But Revy, I'll take a feats of strength roll from you as well as you enter this uh this room. Alright, hold on. What? <laughs> you have to confirm it. It's super annoying now. You can no longer just copy and paste. Um. Oh, yeah. The gravity hits you, but you just kind of hold your own against it. <laughs> um. But the worm on continues on. Was that all the information you'd like to know from the Queen Atlas? That is everything, yes. If there's okay. more, I'll, I'll think of it. Well, you should think fast. We're quickly approaching the destination. And as it's slinking along, the goop from near the uh, entrance to the hive that you all waded through is now 
in this room. However, the Wormmon is slinking along on top of it, and the goop seems to get deeper with every step that you take. Are you all still following it through the goop? Well, I suppose three of you are. <laughs> along for the ride, but you could still say something if you're opposed to the idea. Um... Atlas? So is, is there is there like another way around the goop? Uh are you asking me or are you asking Wormmon? I'm asking you as like outside of Okay. No, this room seems to be filled with the goop. And the farther you so... go, the deeper the goop gets. Atlas is gonna like look around and then he's just gonna like Thigh in defeat and just start walking into the goop. <laughs> <laughs> and Ravi? What? This room, it's filled with the goop that was at the entrance of the hive that's hard to walk through. And the further you go into the room, the deeper the goop gets. Do you follow everybody else and wade into the goop? I guess if everyone else is going, I'll follow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And as you all wade through the goop, where Mun will start talking, um, you know, I was around before the corruption came here. The forest was pretty nice, but I was a pretty weak and pathetic little worm Mun. I always got picked on. I'm sure you know how that feels, Atlas. But Ken... <laughs> no response, Atlas? Kind of hard to respond when your, your mouth's under the goop. <laughs> your mouth isn't under the goop. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. <laughs> But, He's just sort of like nod. Um, okay. <laughs> but then the fall happened, and the corruption slowly came to our world. And then I found the most adorable. True love. <laughs> what was that, Valentine? True love. True love. <laughs> The most adorable little butterfly. It was so small and so weak. I couldn't help but tear its wings off. But then I've realized something about that little butterfly. You know what that is, Atlas. It's they are poisonous? Well, venomous? well, you're sort of right. Just because it was small and weak, I assumed it was helpless like me. But that little butterfly was far stronger than anything our world had seen before. And he'd continue to slink along. You see, it had spores on its wings. And anything those spores touched became a part of it. And roughly about the time you're all waist high in the whoop it would turn. You see, the queen isn't just one person. We're all the queen. Now, don't worry. We'll make sure that you're all healed up. Just wait here. And the Wormon would start slinking away through a hole in the wall. We need to leave now. I'm not gonna become one of these five fuckers. <laughs> and as it slinks through the hole, 
the goop that you're all in starts to raise. <laughs> Do the soul illuminate? Like, how do I activate my plot armor power? Ah. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of... This fucking forest down. Trying to think of what... you could even do... Well, as written, it shows either the enemy's weak point or an escape route. And an escape route seems pretty viable right now. Well, you do see that the walls and floor to this room are not thin, but breakable. That said, you're all waist high in this very, very thick goop, so... giant rebots probably not even ankle deep yet <laughs> punch through <laughs> the walls iron man um so the uh king kakuman will pull his sister out and chuck her at a wall uh at least you're getting chucked as well with lunamon um <laughs> Am I gonna get thrown into something? <laughs> well, King Kakuman's getting thrown at the wall, so as long as you hold on tight, you should be fine. Okay, I'll try. Well, I'll try my best to hold on for sure. <laughs> Robot uh, man, you want a map? D Soul Illuminate. <laughs> so. Uh, King Kakuman does smash through the wall. At least I'll take a feats of yeah, holding on would be feats of strength. I knew it. <laughs> um, and Isaac, when you use your diesel, you're almost blinded by the fact that this entire place is screaming at you with intense energy. Oh, fuck. really is all one hive. <laughs> that said, as King Kakuman smashes through the wall... Wow, that's actually a really good roll. Um, as King Kakuman smashes through the wall with Elise, um, the sap begins to pour out. Uh, but... Soon, you guys staring at King Kakuman through the hole she's created, you see her get ripped away? And King Kakuman will try to give chase, even though uh, it is hard for him to pick up his feet with how much goop there is, but he's able to actually... Actually, with how much goop there is, he's probably getting tripped up with with all that surface area. <laughs> Atlas, what are you doing? Atlas is gonna do like a quick inspection. Can he can he look at the goop and see if it's if he knows what it technically is based on like his book readings and all that he've done like does um, he know like if the goop is something common in you know like hives and stuff or is it just like something related to here I bet well, you made the Kool -Aid. it does seem alien in nature however the closest substance that you can relate it to is sap So, uh, based on his knowledge on sap in general, mm -hmm. he he knows that 
some sap are flammable. And with that, he'll, he'll like, sling his backpack over and pull out, like, his, a simple fire starter kit. <laughs> yeah. And just, hmm? just try and light it on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're uh you're gonna light the sap on fire atlas yep <laughs> but as, as he's doing that like he does it and then he stops and he turns around and he goes everyone out and then he tries it again <laughs> <laughs> Is, is there a sap free location that King Kakuman can throw us? Uh, well, if you remember, King Kakuman got tripped up and King Kakuman got banished from the hole. Um, so Atlas just lit the entire room on fire. Um, Don't worry, I'm safe. I made a fire. <laughs> Play out of it with Doruga. What about Doruga, Mom? Can I fly out of it? Ah, uh, or fly over it? Doruga, Mom? No, no, the room isn't big enough to allow for flight. However, you could try to climb your way out of it. I will do that. All right. Give me another feats of strength roll. Okay. I have a trauma where, to make at this point. Where are Lunamon and Elise compared to the sap now? Oh, that's that's a funny story, but we'll we'll get back to Lunamon and Elise. Mm. <laughs> uh, so I could not create a bubble to enclose everyone. Oh no. Um twenty one. It takes some struggling, and you get burned a little, but you are able to climb on top of, uh, Ginkakuman as a sea of flame engulfs the room. <laughs> so, Atlas, what were you planning on doing with this sea of flames while you're trapped in sticky goop? Basically just burning the sap out over... Like burning everything down, he just wants the sap to get burned slowly. But he was not expecting the sap to burn like fuel, and just the moment it hit fire, everything caught fire. So Atlas is just gonna be like sitting and boiling sap, <laughs> just like knowing he fucked up in a way. Can um, Coronamon eat the fire? <laughs> no, Coronamon cannot eat the fire. Damn it. Um, so you're not a dragon slayer, Coronamon. I'm sorry. So seeing everything goes like this, Isaac. Every, everything goes south. Ginkakuman is going to start rapid firing everyone into the other room. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I can stand this heat, probably. <laughs> Uh, no, no. Everyone take five damage. Everyone. Except Elise and Lunamon. <laughs> You're not getting out of there without five damage. Including the Digimon? Including the Digimon. You lit the room on fire. <laughs> you lit the room on fire, Atlas. <laughs> Oh god, if King Kakuman wasn't there. So so wait a minute, so like they try to kill us or something? Ah uh, Well, Isaac's under the impression the hive is trying to one of us us and then King Kakuman's yeeting us all out of the boiling sap so we don't burn alive. Yeah, so Wormon never explicitly <clears throat> said it was trying to kill you or anything. It just uh, left the room and was like, don't worry, we'll cure your illnesses. And the sap After started... going on a nice little 
When the wings <laughs> of the butterfly possess you like the ones on my forehead, we, yeah. we all come to one. Yes, and then uh, then the sap started to raise, and uh, King Kakuman yeeted King Kakuman and Elise at the wall. Then they vanished, and uh, then Atlas lit the room on fire. Like, the entire room. <laughs> Remember, hashtag always bully Atlas because he's always trying to wipe the party. <laughs> Be out here just spitting words. Atlas is doing the work. <laughs> like, I might go down, but I'm taking this entire fucking hive with me. I mean, he is apparently just standing in the boiling sap. No, Atlas. no. No, Ginkakuman yeeted him. We all took five impact damage wherever the fuck we landed if we didn't get whisked away by the spooky dark. Um. Yeah, Elise and Lunamon actually probably just saw a flash, but. Um. So. Uh. Isaac. Valentine. I mean, you guys can barely stand because even though the gravity is returned to normal, you're still woozy and sick. But Atlas and Revy, you're able to get up in this room. Easy. He's going to get up. He's going to look around and then seeing that some of them got hurt a little bit, he'll pull out his medical kit and just try and heal some heal most th those are mostly w more damage than the other so like he's gonna start with like Elise and then uh, Isaac and so Valentine. Elise isn't there but Isaac and Coronamon are both at 7 out of 12 so we're okay-ish. Yeah, didn't the least get ripped away by something? Yes, uh, by something. <laughs> yeah, so the sister carried her when they got yeeted, and then they got vanished in the dark. Um, Wait, so do we know who took her? The dark. Not not quite yet, but... uh. So, Atlas, you said you'd look around at the others? Yes, and try and heal. If... I, if I see any of them, I'll try and give them some something to heal. And, Revy, yes. are you also looking around at the others? Yes. So, Atlas, behind Revy, and Revy, behind Atlas, you see a very large humanoid creature? Almost looks like a Power Ranger with two swords. And a red scarf. Does Justy Mom have swords? Hmm. This this is more of a yellow Justy Mon. I think it's Grade Mon. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me let me ensure I'm describing this right. It doesn't really matter <laughs> as long as I'm yellow sting mon. Unless it's Justy Mon uh, X Antibody. Okay, no, I'm describing. Or is it Rigen Mon? No, I'm describing this right. There's only Insectoid Digimon in the hive. Um. Oh, I think I know which one you're talking about because they look really cool, but I can't remember the name. Is this like Metal Kawagamon or something like that? Oh, you're probably thinking of Grandy's Kawagamon, but no, no. Uh, no like, there's like Metal Life or something? Well, now I'm just curious what this thing looks like, but no, think more Cyber Sleuth. Okay. Oh, oh. Is that a tiger Vespamon? Yeah. Oh my god, beautiful. 
Okay, Metal Life Quagamon is interesting. I never describe it as a Power Ranger, but it's definitely interesting. Um, the first thought I had was a Stingmon or Boncho Stingmon. But then you said yellow. Yeah, yeah, it's it's two Tiger Vespamon standing behind you guys. Well, if we weren't going to drown before, now we're just going to get skewered. The Tiger Vespamon behind Revy. What do you do with the Tiger Vespamon behind Revy? I just point at it. In <laughs> fear. And Revy, mm. what do you... What do you do with the Tiger Vespamon behind Atlas? Or him pointing behind you? Uh, I'll point behind him. <laughs> but turn to look behind me. Do the same. And Isaac? No, Coronamon, can you stand? I don't know. Aster, can I stand? <laughs> no. Although, I do wonder. <laughs> no. <laughs> would <Isaac> your... <laughs> would Coronamon your... turns to Isaac. No, my good sir. I cannot stand. <laughs> would your uh, torment be acting up right about now? <laughs> I mean, I rolled for it once earlier in the sap situation. Should I roll again? I mean, I was more thinking... Uh, I guess you're technically not failing anything. Yet. I haven't <laughs> tried. And true. So, uh, yes, Ravi, you see the big yellow Power Ranger behind you as well. Hello. And I'll just say hi to it, so And it'll raise one of its hands and just do a little high gesture. Um And the wormon will model up Now oh, now, why didn't you all just stay in the sap? I did say I would cure you guys, did I not? I'm not gonna become part of your hive. <laughs> you sound so confident when you say it with that many coughs. Was that a malicious mockery, or is he just making fun of me? Because Isaac will straight <laughs> just step to himself right now. <laughs> you will not take me alive. Oh, but we've already taken one of your friends. What have you done with Elise? And Elise, you would be held captive right now, technically. We're about to uh, make her one of us. Life is uh, better Valentine with the hive. Is going to be like, not if I have anything to say about it, you piece of shit. And he's going to use the Boncho Leomon card. I'm going to summon us a friend of the Mega level. Is it Vespamon versus Boncho Leomon? I guess if he loses, I get another Boncho item. Uh, no, I'm not letting you hurt Boncho. <laughs> Why are we getting aggressive? Because they kidnapped Elise and they're going <laughs> to turn her into one of them. So yeah, Valentine's not going to sit there and let that happen. We're not right. hurting Boncho. I just made a comment. If he were to lose, I would lose I... his body a second time. Isaac, I'll kill you next. <laughs> I actually find this interesting. I don't no, know I'm if kidding. I... I don't know if I ever mentioned whether you can summon deceased creatures, but... Uh, but he's I'm... not deceased, Aster. He's just <laughs> Leomon. <laughs> I mean, assumably it's a new Boncho Leomon, right? Like, a yeah. completely different one? 
Well, well, uh, no, however, hmm. I'll, I'll allow this. It. No, I will allow the summoning of Bancho Leoman, but, and I will figure out the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> nitty gritty later. <laughs> If, if you need me to sacrifice some life force case. for it, I understand. No, no, I'm just deciding whether it's a a special one-time Bancho spirit, or if you're summoning the Leoman that's the guardian of the ley line, that becomes a Bancho. <laughs> Ooh, play if I could just the summon the too. spirit... Then I mean that would be all right. Maybe we could just make my Digimon like have to revert to a baby after it happens because he used up the energy. I don't know, but for now I'll allow the summoning though. <laughs> so you uh, are summoning Bancho Leomon to stop this madness. Yes, oh, we need to save Elise. <clears throat> and as you do, Leomon ends up coming out this form why am i here like this it's the girl <laughs> they have kidnapped elise and they're trying to turn us into mindless drones <clears throat> i wouldn't say uh, mindless we'll have many minds we'll have one unified mind <laughs> but copy mommy watch your tongue uh. <laughs> I'll never kill. I'll never kill my coffee, mommy. But <laughs> uh, okay, we and Leoman will slice with his sword at the Wormmon, cutting it in half, before attacking one of the spiders holding Elise hostage. And as he does, the tiger. One of the Tiger Vespamon will step in the way and deflect his blow. The rest of you should get should get out of here. I'm gonna murder Datamon. He told us to come here. I mean, technically he just said this place could possibly cure you. <laughs> um but Bancho Leomon is going to start fighting with the two Tiger Vespamon. What are the four of you doing? Wondering if we just killed the guardian of the ley line that we made. <laughs> <laughs> Leomon doesn't need to die twice in the same series. Uh, Val and, uh, Val's just going to be like, because he wants to help, but he's still kind of weak. Mm -hmm. He's going to look toward Revy and be like, we gotta save Elise. And as uh, Val says that, the Dokuaman who has Elise and Lunamon restrained will start slinking back into the darkness. Lunamon, I need you to gather your power. <laughs> And Isaac will hold out the Boncho knife, hoping that he'll be able to digivolve into my secret weapon. And actually function. Don't just have him digivolve into a lump on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> digivolves into a new mama. Oh, fuck you. Alright, uh, I'm ready. This is my moment. I'll allow this. He will be wobbly, but I'll allow him to function. Secret weapon. <laughs> Something Coronamon doesn't know about. You're a Repamon now. Little bladed spiky wolf box thing. Wait, I'm confused. Why do you have two champions? Because the Boncho knife is like a Digivolve item from the games. Oh, cool. I don't know what's happening, but let's pull a Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> Save Elise. And Atlas, are you going to try to save Elise too, or are you going to listen to Leoman and start running? He's he pro he wants to save Elise, but also wants to run. But 
I know for a fact that Eros wants to save Elise because of you know conversation. So he's gonna take control of Mushman and have him run in to protect Elise. Ah, fair enough. And as as doing so, Mushman will start running on all fours and digivolve into Toge Mogumon. Everyone's revealing their alternate evolutions this session. I mean, I was going to attempt a dark digivolution, but all that would mean is black fire would burn down the hive instead of red fire. <laughs> And Elise, how are you feeling as your sick and weak comrades are giving their all to save you from this precarious situation? You know, we are six episodes into season two. We might be getting our ultimates. I'm just watching y'all fight. <laughs> You're just Is watching that the first him time fight. You just left us to die. <laughs> I mean, uh, you guys are weak. I'm gonna see if you guys can do that. Understandable. At least it. punch a hole through the walls while you watch. <laughs> Shit. Just <laughs> sitting in the corner. Revy's sitting in the other corner, just watching. As everyone else is trying their best. <laughs> <laughs> now have Daruga um, start attacking everything. I will do what I can to assist, but. Yeah. You you have summoned Bancho Leomon. That's a that's a big assist. Um. And Elise, what did you say? Well, first it will trigger my Karmic again, and then um. Well, I'll try to like break free if I can too. Does it? Am, am I still like wrap around something or? Uh, yes, you and uh, Lunamon are wrapped up in a Dokuamon's webbing. Okay, well, I still try to struggle, although I know I won't be able to do much <laughs> in my current state. But I'll be like, Lunamon, let's try our best to squeeze our way out of this thing. <laughs> um. And Did Lunamon try creating a bubble that, like, makes the webbing spread? She could try also, uh, Elise. Now, I don't know if this is this was explained quite enough, but remember that your secret terrible torments, your crests, are minus 15s. Oh, only three is that, ways to roll a positive that two number. <clears throat> <clears throat> um and Bancho Leoman <laughs> Yeah, you're not you're not mentally okay about the situation. I mean I don't think anyone would be, but you're kind of breaking down because you're literally watching people essentially commit suicide to try to save you. <laughs> um, and Bancho Leoman is going to punch one of the Tiger Vespamon back. What are you all doing? I said run! I'm not letting him die. So I'm going to try to help Bancho. And so you're going to attack one of the Tiger Vespamon? Yes. Uh, how are you attacking it? I have um, Daruga attack, and I'll attack at the same time. Hopefully we do at least some damage. So, you both... I'll take the accuracy rolls. Alright. Your instant kill. What was that, Atlas? 
Is it going to be some damage or is it going to be an instant kill from Revy? We'll see. <laughs> Wait, how is it for the humans again? Uh, it's the derived accuracy stat, which I think is at the bottom of your normal stat. And me and then Daru Daruga. Me first and Daruga. Gotcha. So... so Tiger Respamon's a mega, right? Although I guess Repamon's going after the Dokugamon, so never mind. Yeah, Tiger Respamon is indeed a mega, but as the Do Dokugamon is just a champion. Um, how much damage do you and Darugamon do? I... Daruga does... 11? 12. 13. 13. And I do 13. 13? Yep. So, so as you both slam into it uh, with Boncho attacking and stuff, it does move it back a little. However, now I'm going to take a dodge roll from both of you. A dodge roll? Yes. From both of us, right? Yep. Finally gets her season two commission out, and then she dies. <laughs> As all things should be. So, yeah, ba -ba -ba. I mean, we're, uh, we're, we're pretty fucked right about that, <laughs> being honest. We also the first one's me, the second one is Daruka. So, as you um, slam into him with Darugamon trying to push him back, uh, the Tiger Vespamon actually drops its swords and spins around, grabbing both of you. And as Bancho Leomon goes to slice into it, the Tiger Vespamon puts both of you in front of itself as a shield. Oh my god. Bullshit, the fucking eyes. And uh, Repamon is chasing down the Dokuamon with Togudamon, right? Togemogumon, do not disrespect that <laughs> awesome ass Iron Hedgehog. Yeah. <laughs> porcupine thing. Togumogemon. <laughs> Hold on. Togumogemon. You know, as much as I like armors, it's definitely one I. I never see. I don't think I've ever seen this Digimon used in anything. Ever. If you read over my Frost Valgermon sheet, you would have seen one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's so many good armor Digivolve, but they just kept with the same two, three. Because they didn't share eggs. That's true. Um, this is my egg and no one else can use it. <laughs> Except for the radio audio shows he did. In Japan. And Elise, as you're kind of mentally freaking out, a worm on would find its way to your shoulder. Don't worry. You'll all join us soon. But look at how they're struggling for you. I'd consider that a compliment. You all the best modern be like if I just let you take me away, would you not bother them anymore? <laughs> oh no. You'll all become a part of the hive soon enough. 
after all, you all must be very close. And there's no closer way to be than inside the hive. What do you mean by close? <laughs> well, we're all one here in the hive. <coughs> Well, we do have our own individual thoughts. We share a consciousness. So we know what everyone's thinking. Then can you set one of them on fire? What was that, Elise? Can you tell me more about your queen? Well, we're all the queen. Here at the we'll hive. We'll float too. <laughs> uh, Repamon and Toku Mogemon. Give me accuracy rolls. Now, would one of you be attacking the Wormon on Elisa's shoulder, or...? I guess it's up to Dio, actually, here. You're my Repamon. What are you doing, baby boy? All right, what were my options? There's the Dokuamon that is uh, pulling Elise away and has her wrapped up in thread. And then there's the Wormmon on her shoulder. You have a giant sight for a tail. Keep that in mind. Repamon looks at the Elise being taken away, sees the holder, locks on them, and strikes. All right, so I'll take that uh, accuracy roll at the Dokuamon. Oh, oh no, we've lost the Valentine. <laughs> um, Valentine. And the Mogumon is gonna attack the other Dokuamon. He's gonna charge at it, and like as he gets close, he's just gonna fire off some of his spines at it. All right. So I'll take accuracy rules from Repamon and Doku, Doku Mogamon. Togu Mogamon. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, IR2. <laughs> I made it a glass cannon. Believe <laughs> me. Oh. Also, it, shouldn't we do R2 instead of IR2? Because IR2 means infinite reroll, right? Yeah. IR makes infinite, and usually the huge power and overkill are just a one reroll. Yeah, so it should just be R2, not IR2. Oh, that's interesting. I learned uh... that the other day. <laughs> Both very good rules. Perks are useless. What is, uh... What's the damage from Ripamon and Togemogemon? What's the dodge on the target? What I meant was... Not good enough. What's, what's their damage? <laughs> so, five damage. given the situation... Did you use the leaping attack or the somersault attack? Because one has armor pierce, one has exploit. Reaper's calling. The leap I'm attack. I'm going to run through this boy. <laughs> so it's base nine, exploit three. Gotcha. And Atlas? It's five damage and stun. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Repamon actually ends up cleaving through the Dokuamon that it attacked. The other Dokuamon is alive, but it's kind of, uh, kind of pulsing. It's not in a good state. Dodge minus three on it, by the way, because of Repamon's coordinated assault. It is very not good. You can kind of see its organs flowing out of it. I shall now rescue Miss Elise. You're welcome. Um. 
Do, 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 do. I'll also take straight willpower rolls from everybody right now. Who is everybody? Um. Humans, Digimon, both. You know, basically all the humans. Hey, what? Willpower rolls. Including you. Twenty six. Not bad. Seventeen. It makes sense for my current mental. This <laughs> <laughs> oh. is not. Well, I forgot. Well, Rebby has well, no for willpower. <laughs> Uh, yes, but minus five for Eros, as he's slowly, uh, been fading away. So, minus, f minus five on top of his willpower, or just straight minus five? On top of his willpower. Okay. So, um... Actually, Elise's mental state is probably one of the reasons she's doing okay here. And Isaac is just straight up ignoring it, running on, uh, running on anxiety. But, uh, Atlas, Eros, at this point we'll say impression. Valentine and Ravi, you all begin to pass out along with your Digimon. And as you're passing out, Revy, you notice a Digimon stab straight through the Tiger Vespamon holding you. You'd think that it would be a good thing. However, it was actually the other Tiger Vespamon just kind of using it as a wall to stab into the Bancho Leomon. I'm going to kill you, Val. <laughs> Um, so is Elise fine, or is she also passing out? She's actually being kept up by her, uh, by her stress. <laughs> so, uh, can I do a last action with Togemogamon before he inevitably passes out? Sure. So, he's going to, uh, touch, uh, Lunamon, and then strain and then give it a crystal guard would be a shield of three. Hmm. Okay. And as most of you begin to pass out, another Wormmon would make its way up to Isaac. You've all done well getting this far. However, it's time to simply calm down and accept your him. fate. <laughs> Before he even gets to the accept his fate part, I, I lurch to bite his ass. I'm going to eat this fucking Wormmon <laughs> right on the butterfly thing glued to his forehead. Okay. <laughs> so, as you're chewing on him... Another worm man shows up. Yeah, that's certainly one way to uh, achieve results. <laughs> Before more worm man start to surround all of you. And sleep slowly crawls into all of your bodies. But last time we were put to sleep, we went on an entire character development arc. Then you all wake up. And you find yourselves back in the lush forest that you were in before you entered the hive's woods. Am I with them? What did you say, Atlas? 
minus one in regards to Elise being not there? Or is she there with us? She's with you. I will say minus three, though. So I'm and... back Revy and Val are not here. It's the twins in Leomon. It is... Oh. Well... If we include Leomon, then minus four. Eros also is no longer with you guys. Oh, now we get to go on the arc of how to sever the connection to the hive, and Isaac's first instinct is burn it to the fucking ground. <laughs> so when you guys get up, who who says something first? I mean, I guess, perception check? Isaac's gonna look around, inspect, confuse, like, what's going on? Uh, Isaac will see Wormon sitting in a log not far away. I'm going to punt it, if I have the strength to do so. Um, you are actually feeling better. Field goal time. Stop. <laughs> Hammer time? <laughs> Fuck no. You guys are better, no? Yeah. And I'm about to make this warm mod not better now. <laughs> Maybe you should talk to it. Because why? You're better. <laughs> One of us, Revy, as Isaac closes his eyes and thinks at her. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk. I'm just gonna walk to M Warmon and ask him where Eros is. Uh, you guys spent some time sleeping. He eventually faded away. As is the nature of you creatures. You, you creatures, what do you mean? Ah, uh, you creatures who now exist within the ravine. Again? Come again? Makes sense, worm thing. Hmm. Do you not recognize what you are? Though I suppose I that would make of sense. Now, but... <laughs> so, at what point did we switch? We were human until we weren't. Mm, don't let it bother you too much. At this point, you're basically a human. At any rate, you and your friends should be healthy enough now. We were actually planning to assimilate all of you, and we did for a time. But once we saw your memories and examined your bodies... You oh, you wanted shit to do with us. Our <laughs> fucking fear STDs were too much for you. Uh, rather, your Digimon and that girl there, you're also hollow, how to put it. You would encumber the hive more than you would help it. But also understanding all that has transpired after reading your memories. We've decided it is no longer beneficial to remain in the corruption, so we used your bodies to purify our ley line. One ley lie down. Who's the guardian? I think that question has a rather obvious answer, don't you? I'll burn you? all of you. But you're so tiny. 
Well, certainly one of us is tiny, but together we are quite formidable. I don't think you need to worry about our ley line any time soon. Where's Vancho Leomon? He was never long for this world. We used him to fill those two Digimon, if you will. To what? <laughs> and they if fed you fed him to something. If you examine Coronamon and Lunamon, Coronamon now has a smaller knife at his hip. And Lunamon has a boncho cap. Can I punch Wormmon? <laughs> you I'm gonna can. kick him after she punches him. <laughs> then I can stab him. <laughs> Here, take my knife, Val. I can't do it. Can I punch Val? <laughs> sure. Um. Oh, that said. Uh, your knife is now no longer there. Look at what you did. I mean, I knew I was going to get a Boncho Apollomon eventually, but damn. <laughs> <laughs> um, So do you have anything else to say to the Wormon, or is it just time to beat him up and leave him? <laughs> mm. Is there anything else you can offer us to help us? Because, you know, if the world does end or whatever, you will die too. All of you. A painful and beautiful death. So... Oh, we're not too worried about it. We exist amongst many worlds. If this one should end, it would be interesting to see how it happens. That said, if it's help you seek, from here, well, you've been lucky so far, so you might be able to make it at the Vampire's Mansion. I don't think you should head to the other ley lines, though. Why is that? You're currently far too unskilled. You only managed to purify our ley line because we wanted you to. But the others? No. No, I don't believe that would work out. Why didn't you just ask us to purify the ley lines? I don't, I don't understand. Well, originally we had no intention of letting you purify the ley line. We simply let you in, and we were going to assimilate you. That's Anyone sad. else have any more questions for the worm mom? <laughs> Going once. Yeah, I'm good. You could kick it. Going once. <laughs> I'm trying to rip the fucker in half at this point. <laughs> I have a question. How many knives can I have? One. Damn it. <laughs> Dingy. <laughs> and... I mean, we could rip off his stingers and fashion them into a weird brass knuckle thing. <laughs> and so you're going to try to rip him in half, Isaac? My damage is a lot higher than it used to be. <laughs> um, I'll stop Isaac from doing that. <laughs> Why won't you guys let me increase my dark meter? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Well I do have a bunch of store mine. If he knows okay, he can live a little longer. 
yes, human girl. Is there a way for us to catch the, the disease again? Hmm. It's unlikely that the three of you will catch it anytime soon. Those other two are a bit more susceptible, however, the fact they didn't get it the first time means that they might have more natural immunities to it. You know what, worm boy? I have decided to let you live for a little while longer, but I do have another question. You keep talking about other worlds. We met some curious little fairy things on our way in. The hell are their names? Scree and Scraw, Doremi, I don't fucking know. Do you know who they are? Oh, the ones we won't mention. Yes, we know of them. Well, while we're not mentioning them, is there a reason we don't mention them? You'll find out in your travels that words have power. And sometimes when you talk about something, it will happen. Fuck were their names again? Scree and Ree. Who remembers the Scree and Ree? Scree and Ree. Scree and Ree. Oh, Scree! Oh, Ree! We could use your help! Hmm. It was worth a try. No, why not? Oh, oh, dear brother Scree, were we just summoned? Oh, sister Ree, I think we were summoned. Why would we be called here? <laughs> oh, if it isn't the hive. How cute. Isn't that adorable, Scree? Adorable indeed, Ree. What is it we can help you with? Why does the hive not like you? Not like us? Oh, why would anyone not like us, Scree? I don't know, Re. I tried asking them. They wouldn't tell us. I find you quite... Yeah. Radiant? We'll use that word. And the Wormmon would proceed to simply kill itself by biting itself in half? What? <laughs> Wait, what? Can you repeat what you just said? What would kill itself? <laughs> the worm man straight step a good away from the fairies. <laughs> Fuck this shit on that one. <laughs> the worm man bit itself in half. Oh my god. <laughs> well, now look at what you just did, I. Isaac. Look at what you did indeed, Isaac. Why would you do that to the poor hive, Isaac? I'm gonna kill them. Here to tell me how you got my name. <laughs> well, of course we know your name. Do you not know your own name, Isaac? My name is Quinn, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't think he knows his name, Ree. I don't think he knows his name either, Scree. Does he actually think his name is Quinn? Well, then again, he wouldn't be the first in the group to not know their own name, Ree. <laughs> you sent them, didn't you? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the original failings that attacked us. You sent them, didn't you? Oh, do you think we're in charge of such poor, pitiful creatures? <laughs> oh, that's so sad to think about, Scree. So sad indeed, Re. <laughs> Even These though they all illuminate. Hmm, and what are you using your power for? Well, my radar tells us the relative power level of our surrounding creatures. Mm, How yes. How bright are these fucking screes? They radiate like the sun. 
I regret living. <laughs> oh, what is this warm light, Scree? What was that, Elise? Like, I'm wondering if, like, um, if I try to call someone, will they be able to see or, like, hear about this? Mm, you about could put... Or, like... Really? Uh, you could put them on speakerphone. Uh... <laughs> well, I'll let you do what you do. Well, I'm intending to, like, I wonder if I can call, like, the, what's his name again? Edamon. And then ask him, like, so are these two creatures in front of us the failings? I thought, just as a side note, sorry, um, that Edamon was decided as not enough contact yet, though, unfortunately. Mm, yes, it's true. You could send him a text message at this point, though. Then I'll do that, hoping that he would respond. Um, the message is seen, and if you simply asked if it, they're failings, he would not respond. <laughs> no, he would uh, not respond. They i will probably like ask, like, do you know of features named Scree and Re? Ah, and to then, that. Yeah. To that, he would say no. They're from a DVD, not of this world. Okay. <laughs> uh, can failing remove memories? Failings? Oh, you mean those lesser creatures. <laughs> what do you mean by remove memories? Is it possible, like, for them to make, to take away your memories? Oh, those lesser creatures can't do all of that. They're rather greedy. Is there a being or creature similar to a failing that would ask for your name incessantly? Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're messaging Adamon? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, can the failings steal memories? Yeah. Um, he would... He... You wouldn't believe so. No. Okay, then I'll probably ask him, like, if, is there, like, any creature or being that can do that? And at that point, he would stop responding. Okay. I'll probably, like, shoot the message to Data One at this point, and also Ether One if I can. Just you would get ready. You would get radio silence if you asked any questions revolving around creatures like the failings, but that could do more than them. Okay. It's mildly been brought up throughout the digital world that talking about these creatures is rather taboo. <laughs> So given like the responses that I ha have from them, which is like nothing, I probably like walk closer to Isaac and be like, maybe we should try to like go away from them. Given like how Wormwood responded to them, I don't think we should also like keep talking to them either. It's just starting to like them a little bit. Yes, little human girl, that's no fun at all. Why would you summon us only to walk away? That's not very nice, is it, Re? No, it's not, Scree. Well, first of all, I summoned you. Second of all, I was hoping to start a war and burn the hive down with your help. But... But what? Why not start a war? 
Wars sound fun, don't they, Ree? They sound fun indeed, Scree. You two remind me of way too much of a clown, I know. A clown? A clown? A clown! A clown! Clown? And the two would float around you? You want to start a war, but what could you offer us? What could you offer us indeed? What did you want from us during our first encounter? Oh, do you want to give us your name? Quinn Yellowbitch. You know... And before Quinn just starts the other campaign <laughs> without a name. <laughs> You know, Ree, we normally don't accept names that don't belong to people. We normally don't, indeed, Ree. But I suppose we could take it from one of them. I suppose we could, indeed, Ree. After all, do they really need two names, Ree? I don't know if they need two names, Scree. And then we could burn the hive down. Isn't that right, Ree? We could, indeed, Scree. When you derail the campaign enough that the DM just invents another issue. <laughs> Don't worry, I can fix this issue. Just give me five minutes alone with them. <laughs> you saw how they sparkled. I'm not about to fuck with that. I don't care how fabulous they are. I'm gonna shank them then. Well, because I asked them to, I guess. This one's on me. <laughs> Kinda wanna burn the hive down anyway. But... Well, they <laughs> don't necessarily want to start a war with the hive, but they're willing to. Look, we're not going to give you any names. But... I don't know. There's something else, a, a task you might want accomplished? Hmm. You know what? Little almost human. Almost human. <laughs> we'll consider your proposal. We'll consider it indeed. We'll think if there's something we want from you other than your names. But for now... Oh, you may indeed, little human. Well, why would we even want the names? Names are very powerful, little human. You should know. Well, if you're not okay with me, then what is wrong with me? I'm not a good human. <laughs> oh, that name, Failings. They're just lesser creatures of the Fey Woods. You could say we're similar, but they're so small and weak and greedy. They just take things because they don't know how to get them out otherwise. We're not nearly so greedy, are we, Ree? We're not greedy at all, Scree. Look at us talking to these little creatures. We're so magnanimous, Ree. So magnanimous indeed, Scree. But, we'll let you think upon whether you want to give us your names for later. Until now, au revoir. We'll see you again. And the two fairy-like creatures will disappear into the woods. You know, it's really dumb to try to start a war and give up something so important. 
I wasn't going to give up any of our names. <laughs> you want to burn that hive down as much as I do. Don't you dare lie, Revy. Well, that's true, but I also want to kill you guys. <laughs> then do it. I will stand still and let you do it. No, you guys are pretty useful for now. Okay. I feel oh, so wait. bad. Why? Keep, keep going, Isaac. Maybe you were going to mention. Mention what? I was just about to loot the Wormmon's corpse for that stinger like I mentioned earlier. I'll allow this. Now, I just feel <laughs> so bad that nobody cares that the twins are missing. I knew it! I knew it! I fucking told you so. I mean, there's not a lot we could do about it. The hive whisked them away. <laughs> and... Wait. I wonder if they got assimilated to the hive. I mean, I know we cared for them anyways. <laughs> we never got to know them. The sister never said a word to us, pretty much, and the robot just did what we told it. <laughs> Fair enough. People are heartless. <laughs> I won't say anything, do you? <laughs> um, so, what are your guys' plans now? We're going to eventually have to figure out this two-name thing the deities of the Feywild said about us. We now know <laughs> we're not human, so we have to come to grips with the trauma of triple identities. <laughs> I'm human enough. So I'm good. We also... I don't know. Fuck. If we're being realistic, our characters watched a worm off itself and... <laughs> I mean, that's pretty, pretty disturbing. Pretty scarred. <laughs> I mean, it's closer to, like, a caterpillar. <laughs> a giant football-sized caterpillar. <laughs> I think the dis- Uh... Oh, hey, another future guardian. It actually probably would turn back into an egg, considering where you are. Can I grab it? Oh, Wait, can we get the stinger zone. first? No. Give me that damn egg. <laughs> no give me that damn stinger. We I'm grabbing it the egg. <laughs> <laughs> the Rugup will step in the way. I have a knife. I was just you. holding the egg. I will literally eat you. <laughs> Atlas, what did you fire? say? Atlas is holding the egg. You better give me that damn egg. <laughs> <laughs> Part of me wants to destroy the egg. I will literally attack everybody. <laughs> you guys are in your little rookie form, though. Just, just <laughs> give me the egg, Atlas. Give you the damn egg, kindly. It's not worth the trouble, and you know it, Atlas. <laughs> I'll walk over and grab it out of his hand. Atlas? I I hold on to the egg. Alright, looks like he's dying. I'll, I'll <laughs> do you don't... just bite his head off. You, you, start don't have you. To, you don't have to kill him, just take both of them. Jank in time. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna do this by force because what if it crushes the egg? <laughs> but but Atlas can be cute in the right light. Just claim both of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> give me the egg. Everyone will live <laughs> if you guys, guys give me the egg. Stand in between Darugamon and Atlas. I'll be more than happy to have two eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I'll oh, have he's... two eggs. I'll... Why do you need two eggs? More Elise, are you, me. uh... What are you doing as these two are fighting over this egg? I'll probably just let them do that. And I'll just try to look around to see if like, there's more important things to look at than try to notice, I guess. Um... Right, right now Where's you're... Where's that uh... Wasmon? Wasmon? Whatever it was that died to the other one. Oh, that's 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 still in the hive. Well, off to the hive. I want that egg. Oh, oh my god! 
<laughs> Should dare go back in there, I will burn the building down. <laughs> you can do that. Hopefully, I could grab the egg while you're doing that. <laughs> Uh, you can go and get that egg. I'm keep. I'm holding. Yeah, this no, uh, he dying. Everyone's dying today. <laughs> I'll have a door to attack him. <laughs> <laughs> and another wormmon is gonna appear on the rock. Why are you all fighting over that egg? Attack that. <laughs> it's about to murder it too to give you the egg. <laughs> I see the worm and I freak out and I throw the egg in, in Darugamon's face. <gasps> I'll grab I'll jump in the way to grab it. I'm pretty fast, so we're doing this. Isaac, are you still attacking the worm on? <laughs> well, was I able to get the stinger from the first corpse or is it inside the egg? It's inside the egg. And I'm killing this one for the stinger. <laughs> Let's do it. Shake it time. Okay, maybe I don't want to kill it, because it'll just turn into a second egg. We're going to rip its stinger off. <laughs> All right, I'll grab the egg then. Okay. Okay. So, Revy has the egg. Isaac. Atlas, are you stopping Isaac from ripping the stinger off of this living worm on? I'm tackling Isaac from taking <laughs> the worm on the stinger. <laughs> Why is there a second worm on here anyways? Because we lingered too long and the DM wanted a distraction. Alright, talk to it. <laughs> hi, Wormon. Of... Hi, hi. I wonder if I called for Scree and Re again if this Wormon went off itself. No, shut up. <laughs> talk to it. I would like to proceed to cut its needle off, please. <gasps> I will stomp this little cat thingy out away. <laughs> I will punch Coronamon from doing it. <laughs> Fine, fine, fine. But the bug can keep its butt. Well, I had Grab just come. And... I had just come to oh, retrieve wait. our egg, but do you all want to hold on to it? What egg? Give me my egg. No, I'm keeping this egg. Hmm. That works out in our favor, anyway. You can hold on to the egg. Destroy what? It. It's still connected to you. Would you hold on to it if I said no? I'm still holding on to it. <laughs> uh, you'll be a use to us. <laughs> it's only gonna hatch as a fresh. It's fine. If it's a problem, we'll just kill it later. <laughs> I agree. All right, then. I wonder if Wormon would be, like, willing to tell us, like, how they able they are able to hear us. Or is that something that they won't share? I mean, took the worm on and walked away, so you can ask that question. You were all simply infected with the next virus. They simply. Where did it come from? They could have come from any number of places, especially with how many worlds are currently mixed and matched in this one. So, if I'm piecing everything together, all y'all weirdos have been talking about the past day and a half. The fog is a barrier between the different worlds. You guys purified the ley line to get rid of the fog. Why did you let other worlds in in the first place? This digital world is created from other worlds. The problem isn't the other worlds, it's how they're entering. Ever since the fall, things have been rather... chaotic. However, it's worked in our favor. It allowed us to enter. And now that we're here, we're not leaving. Alright, cool for me. Good for you, good for you. <laughs> Alright, let's go, guys. There's no reason to stay anymore. Actually? Actually? Isaac, you can kill that. <laughs> I kill it, it's just gonna turn into another egg. And we will take a second egg. Oh my let's god! Go. Kill it. Stinger. 
the stinger. <laughs> oh, are you no, I, no, I can't. Let's just go. I feel bad. That's a cute Digimon. <laughs> Punch Isaac if he's thinking of doing it again. <laughs> Isaac, are we thinking? all leaving? Let's just go. Where should we go next now? Let's all just start walking in a direction, okay? And then we always encounter something all right. anyways. Alright, so everyone's walking in a separate direction. Got it. Do <laughs> you remember where the Wormwon told us to go? The Vampire Manor. Uh, yeah, sure, I think he said that. He, he said that right. No, he said the other line. Uh, yeah, the Vampire Manor, because the other yeah. ones are too dangerous. To the other ones. I'm just gonna, okay. <laughs> to the manor, I um, guess. And... You were sort of told through Edamon that to get there, you'd have to go through the plains, and the best way to get there would be to return to the temple for a moment. But we will uh, call the session there, and... We're not going to call it there. Is everyone walking away from the worm month? No, not till you start walking. <laughs> 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 I'll cut the worm on on the head one more time. Atlas is gonna tie Isaac and drag him. Uh, don't worry, <laughs> Isaac. Actually... I'll sneak back around when they aren't looking. Daruga will be watching you. I'd like to see them stop me. <laughs> to Daruga, aren't you a corona? Aren't you a tiny little corona? For now. <laughs> he can fly too. Corona can fly? Mine can. <laughs> Yeah, it's called oh hot God. air probation. Alright, my remember, mines can fly too. <laughs> Mine could climb trees now too. I could still yeah. fly, what is that gonna change? So, does everyone walk away? I'll have Daruga watch the corona, and I'll watch uh, <laughs> um, Isaac. And Atlas tied Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's treating Isaac like a criminal. Like he'll go back oh, and please. do it. No, oh, I will. Next <laughs> time we come back to the hive for the war, I will specifically find that wormmon and I will cut his stinger off. Which so then I will murder the tiger of Espamon with that wormmon. Time to become a Pancho Stingmon. We should we should get much stronger before then. <laughs> all right. Oh, so as you all leave. I will say that, Isaac, why didn't you just ask the worm on for his stinger? Because I wouldn't assume that to be <laughs> the hive. Um, but, it's, uh... It's, I don't know, watching a creature rip one of its appendages off and give it to me for a makeshift weapon is strange. <laughs> You mean like the creature that split its stomach open and let other creatures eat out of it? Delicious. That was for the greater good of the community. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but yes, we will call the session there. However, as you all return to the temple, uh, I oh, will... Oh, we're, we're getting railroaded, okay. Well, no, no, no. Well, sort of. But as you all return to the temple over the course of the week, I will let you all tell me which pass you took. The test group, uh, they all kind of split up over the week before returning, and they did a lot. But we'll see. Oh, all right. We, so, what do you mean? Uh, I don't understand. We get to do our own thing for a little while. Really? Because of all the purified <laughs> ley lines, it's relatively safe now. Unless we so we get to message just message it to you? Uh, yeah, basically. But anyway, right, cool. thanks for uh, coming out, anyone who was watching. Until next thanks week. All three of those are currently on the stream. <laughs> Don't worry, boys. I'll stab next time. <laughs> Isaac will murder something before the end of this season. I mean, you can count to the Wormmon before... When you're alone and you could kill him. <laughs> I was debating it. I mean, Isaac, it. Isaac was the one who killed the Wormmon. He ripped it in half. I was going to, then it bit itself in half. Oh, wait, no, you're right. That's what happened.
Because you summoned Ree and Scree. <laughs> well, I decided it was useful because they knew about the other worlds, and that's where Ree and Scree were from. <laughs> so you wouldn't tell us about Ree and Scree, so I decided to try and summon them. It worked. <laughs> now we have potential, you know, ultra plus Digimon ally thingies. Scary and frightening though they may be, and stupid, and they'll be able to kill the hive just by showing up, apparently. You know, I bet you that's why that Wormmon offed itself. The rest of the hive was sick of listening to them, so they just cut the connection. Oh my god. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe that Digi-Egg will become a Ryudamon for Alphamon or Ryuken. A bug. I love Kunimon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to pull up and see if there's a way to connect Wormmon to Oriumon. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I just want to. Uh, what are those Digimon? Like Bokomon and the other one? Neymon? Neymon? Yeah, but not not one of them. I want. You know how they're they're just there to help and never fight. What do they you never mean? do anything useful other than just take from the show. Yeah, I want I want something like that. What 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 do you think I'm here for? <laughs> Wait, who? You? You're nothing. <laughs> yeah, you're nothing. Anyways. Answer is completely useless. As Every always. time we ask him a question, he's like, I don't know. And I'm just like, nah, fam. We good here. <laughs> don't worry, Ask is going to be more helpful. Does season something, two. It just causes more chaos. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> He'll be more helpful, he said. He'll answer questions, he said. <laughs> but he, he hasn't. I haven't noticed him. I even forgot he existed. I, mean, I sent least... some messages on Discord and he never replied in regards to terrible question. I am watching Chad. Literal thirty plus I evolutions. Forget. I think where Mun could do it. Chad is pretty quiet, if I do say so myself. Thanks to Magic Cactus, which was Theo. <laughs>